The following is a presentation of the Safeway Corporation. Safeway, giving our best. Congratulations, you've just been hired as a utility clerk here at Dominic's. Hi, I'm Vicki Periscopoulos. On behalf of the Safeway Corporation, we'd like to welcome you to the Dominic's family. In this short training video, I'm going to show you the ins and outs of your job. Here at Dominic's, our goal is to destroy Walmart. Before getting into the details of your job, let's first go over the history of this fine establishment. To understand the origins of the modern grocery store, we have to go back a little bit. In 1892, the Sino Well, maybe not that far back. In fact, forget the history. Here at Dominic's, we're always working towards the future. Let's get down to business. This is a bag rack. Get used to it, because this is going to be the new center of your world. Now, bagging groceries is a lot more complicated than you might think. You can't just go chucking stuff in any old way. You've got to destroy Walmart. Because when bagging goes wrong, tragedy ensues. job though. Being a utility clerk also means being a cart monkey. That is, bringing in shopping carts off the lot. Don't be daunted by the number of carts. It's easy. Why, even Joanne here could push these in. Let's move on to Overstock. Throughout the course of the day, the mortals who have passed through our store will basically make a huge mess. At the end of the day, all these unwanted groceries need to go back on the shelf. That's where you come in. It takes time to become an expert here like Ron, but practice makes perfect. Here Ron, why don't you start by running back to some loaf of bread. Okay. We'll check back with him later, but first, let's look at the last major part of your job, blocking. At the end of the day, the shelves of the store will probably look something like this. That's because the wretched humans who shop here have bought everything. It's your job to get everything on these shelves set up nice and perfect so that people can come and mess it up again the next day. Look, Mike and Sandy are working together to block up the popcorn aisle. What a great example of teamwork. Oops. Ow. Ow. There you go. Hey, let's check up on Ron and see how he's doing on that overstock. Whoa, <laughs> looks like he took a wrong turn. Before we sign off, here's a few more general tips on proper conduct while on the job. Always speak in a clear and understandable manner. Hello, this is Dominic here with the So Gumbo. So Gumbo. So Gumbo. Smoking Robinson Gumbo. So Gumbo. Right with a can, you're gonna get it down, so I can get it while hot. It's so good. So Gumbo. Get it down. Always treat your customers with the utmost respect. What you looking at? Patience is the key to good customer service. And your total is twenty-four sixty-five. Sorry, what was that? And finally, always act in an appropriate manner around your fellow co-workers. Hey baby. What's going on? I don't really think that's very appropriate behavior, Terry. Come on. Sis No! <laughs> <laughs> well, that about covers it. I think you're ready to go. Congratulations. We hope you enjoy your employment here at Dominic's. Now go get them and always remember. Destroy Walmart.